Well, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the workshop I was I'm going to present a summary of was about three topics, education, training and research. Well, to give you a quick, a quick picture of what was discussed in two hours this morning, let's start with research. When you think about space research, we often think about looking towards the universe, looking up, trying to look at stars, looking at strange things like black holes, of course looking for exoplanets, but we'll hear more about this from Julien. But a lot of space research is actually about looking down, having satellites looking on our, towards our Earth, also providing services to people living on Earth. In these areas, we have strong research institutions in both Luxembourg and Belgium, and many collaborations, and of course, many new collaborations being established. They also have some major challenges, and one of them is exploiting the massive data which is provided by all these satellites and trying to make best, the best use possible of it. And a lot can be done, and this is creating quite a lot of industrial interest in these topics. Now, to do all this, we need trained people. And this is a major challenge, because we lack trained people, enough trained people in the area. Our universities have very good master programs in space sciences, either coming from engineering or from science, and some of them interdisciplinary, like the University of Luxembourg. We also have a good potential for improving and extending this program to collaboration and working together. But the real problem is to get students to these masters. Why is this a problem? Well, first, there's a general problem of STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and the fact that we do not attract sufficient students to these topics in general. There's also a gender problem, which is particular to STEM and also to space sciences, where indeed our student population is still heavily male. There's also a lack of knowledge about space and the possible careers it offers. Now, how can we solve these problems? Well, the short answer is start early. We need to get our children interested in these topics at an early age. Now, notice that it is not quite as natural as it used to be. Interest in space is a very ancient interest in humanity. Our long past ancestors would sit out at night and look at the stars and wonder how the universe was organized and how all these you know, celestial bodies they saw moved in the sky. We don't do this anymore. We are in very well-lit environments, which of course obscure our vision of the night light, uh, sky. Also, general knowledge about astronomy and is declining. People know, of course, the moon, but if you ask them to look at the sky, they identify some planets, and some are you know, quite often visible with the naked eye. No, but a few people have an idea about this. Also, the interest in space programs has declined since it's less of a human adventure, because there are few space, uh, manned space flights now, of course, there's a space station, but this is rather routine. Not as exciting as going to the moon, though we might be going back in a few years. So, <clears throat> to interest our young students, there are a lot of interesting initiatives, and we heard about them this morning. And one interesting message that was given, that of course we have to involve the students, but also their teachers. Because if the teachers are not convinced and are not knowledgeable, then they don't transmit the message very effectively, quite obviously. I mentioned the, the gender gap and in optional activities, like, like special you know, seminars during the summer or activities during the summer, the gender balance is quite substantial. The figure of 90% male was cited this morning. Now let us also remember that space is an excellent motivation for many other topics. It can serve as a motivation for teaching things. Let's not forget that something as basic in many sciences as Newton's mechanics was indeed developed for explaining the movement of celestial bodies. And of course we use mechanics in lots of fields of engineering and other applications. So space 
can inspire, can teach us a lot, and also can contribute to a lot of our future by letting us learn more about our Earth and what happens on our Earth, especially things like the climate change. So, as a conclusion, I would say, let us inspire the young generations to go in this direction. Thank you very much.